We're down on the Barbican today, again, in front of Plymouth Castle. This is the Southeast Tower, one of four that made up the castle quadrant that was built here in the reign of Henry IV. I'm here for a very good reason today because I found something that I think might excite people who are interested in our early history. And it's down around the corner. And I'm sure you will find it very interesting because I did. I'm looking at this piece of wall behind the Admiral McBride and the old lifeboat building here. I've got this illustration of what the castle could possibly have looked at. It's just a basic drawing really, but it has the four turrets and the walls and Bishop Vesey's wall, but it's sort of upside down. Castle Street here should be going up on the, to the right of the castle. Now we've looked at this Southeast Tower, if you like, that's the tower we were looking at. And this wall connecting, I'm looking right over there, look, and I'm sure, I'm 99% sure, that is part of the wall. The castle was made up of four turrets, each of two layers, two levels, two floors. Um, eventually, in the time of Elizabeth I, the roofs were leaded over and cannon were actually placed on top of these. There were seven brass pieces here at one stage. Now, over the years, a little bit of money was spent on this castle, not a lot. In 1508, there's a, an, 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 there's a sort of a re entry in the records that four or five shillings were paid out to beggars to come and clean up the castle walls and the ditch. There was a dry ditch around it. Now, if you look in the perspective with Plymouth to show you where the castle stood, there's the castle, four turrets. That's Bishop Vesey's wall that leads off. Castle Street is to the right of it. Now, during the English Civil War, the castle, which had been neglected for many years since the building of Plymouth Fort in 1592, was used as a store for ammunition and a prison for political prisoners held in Plymouth. But after the war, it was just left to decay. As I was saying earlier, and in other videos, we found pieces of the castle, walls mainly, and maybe some parapets and the part of the tower that's left. But a couple of weeks ago, I came down here and I was looking at this area of walling down on the Barbican, right behind the old lifeboat station next to the Admiral McBride. And if you look up there where the two pieces of wall change above the black, six feet above it, I'm sure that's crenellations. And I'm sure that that would be the wall from the Southeast Tower. If you look at it, it's infilled. Now, you can see that is the old castle wall, and I'm 99% sure that's stuck in behind there. It's never been touched. Looking at the illustration and put it in into perspective with the, this old early map of Plymouth, you can see Bishop Vesey's wall going in that direction, so westwards. So, westwards. So that would be that the northwest the... tower. So Bishop Vesey's wall is up that way. In that direction, yes. Okay. And that is the southeast tower. That's the one we were looking at earlier. Now on this illustration, which is completely out of context, that's you, how it should be. Because you've got to turn the map you've around. You've got to turn it around. It's not a map, it's just a bad illustration. It's, because yes, if you look how far Castle Street is from the castle, the Barbican was up here. There's no illustration for that. And there's no scale of no. perspective, is there? So if you, if you look at this illustration, this would be the water, the Barbican. And this wall here is, I'm sure, part of it is there. Don't take notice of the slots, because that could be from latter building work. But if you look, I'm sure you can see just the, the remains of crenellations that were there at the time of the Civil War and before. And I found this the other day, and I'm so excited about it. As you can see, I'm right in front of the Admiral McBride. There's the wall. And it probably goes right behind it as far as Castle Street, but we can't see it. 